Hey folks, this short movie will be especially made for my buddy, the good doctor. So I was digging out some wild strawberry roots from our uh, propagation bed here, to plant out around in the garden as ground cover. And while I was digging those out, oh, I also harvested some uh, Bellis perennis roots for the flower bed. I encountered a clump of the wild strawberries with, with this very strange and weird long taproot. I even uh, broke one of the pieces, the larger one, while digging the, them out. And that was surprising because strawberries usually don't have a long taproot. They have short fibrous roots, which are very good for keeping the soil surface together and creating a uh, nice structure and aggregation. So when I broke the clump of the strawberries apart, of course, I found out that those were not strawberry plants at all, even though they have runner, runners and the leaves look similar, but they are the creeping chinke foil. which is a very common plant in our garden. And finding them like that, growing together, means that uh, they can easily coexist. The strawberries inhabiting the shower stratum of the soil and the chinky foil going uh, deeper. You can see the difference in the root structure and the length and this main taproot probably goes way deeper. This is uh, 40 centimeters and the main taproot probably went double that. And I'll be seeing this plant re-emerge maybe later in season from this same spot. While I was digging this out, I also found a uh, root of uh, clover growing here. It creeps uh, from the pathway it's in. And you can see that I know that most people do not associate uh, clover with tap roots, but you can see that the clover also has a very deep root. And along on the side roots, the feeder roots, I hope that uh, that will be visible on the video, but you can see those tiny white dots, those tiny spherules. Those are the bacterial colonies which uh, work in symbiosis with the clover plant to turn the atmospheric nitrogen into a soil available plant available form so in essence they help fertilize the soil and those uh, strawberries which i pulled out they'll be used as ground cover under the new raspberry a plantation which we're making and also as a ground cover for a new sweet chestnut plant which i got as a gift last week so that was all for now it was a bit too long for a youtube short but it won't be as long as a proper format video and i plan to do more of those with the coming of the warmer weather you can see it's already short sleeve weather today because i have lots of tiny bits i want to show you and it seems that my longer format videos are not enjoying this much interest see you in the next one folks